The only reason I'm making this is because of Reddit notifications. I just think a video is easier to explain than replying with text. But, you know, you could read this. This is how it started. Uh, you could read this. Uh, and then I said, can people stop calling it a fetish game? Oh my lord. And, uh, this is where we get to the, um, actual debunking, whatever. I'm just going to be, um, explaining my thoughts on what these people are saying right here. So I'm gonna read what they say first. Um... I'm not going to I'm not going to comment on it. I'm just going to read it first. It's a fetish game. The only reason change even exists is cuz dragons know how to transfer fetish. If you need further proof, take a quick gander at some of the transfers change special. There's about 3 vor transfers and one for inflation. The skill transfer is also most definitely in any level for a fetish. For a fetish. Also, do people really play change the riveting gameplay? I found myself getting downright frustrated at certain points due to either the timing windows being too short, cryptic solutions, etc. And also having to restart and play through the entire game because you forgot I think Pro is extremely overkill. Okay. So, my thoughts on this. Um, let's take it one step at a time. It's a fetish game. The only reason change even exists because Dragon's Snow has a transfer fetish. Okay, so, my response to that is, well... <laughs> uh, I mean... Dragon Snow, whatever he's into, it does not, he do, it doesn't necessarily have to do with changed. If he's interested in that, in that way, he doesn't actually implement any, like, genitalia or anything in changed. If changed was really meant to be, like, 18 plus material, it would have had, like, actual sexual content. Like, it would have had, like, genitalia and stuff, but it doesn't. Um, um, yeah, so, you're saying that, oh, it only exists because Dragon Snow's into it. It doesn't matter. The game is suggestive, yes, but if it was actually made to appeal to that fetish, it probably would have had, like, gen genitalia and stuff. So, yeah. Um, if you need further proof, take a quick look at the blah, 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 blah. Um, so, those are Patreon transfers, meaning those were paid to be added in the game. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, so the Grey Otter was paid... Dragonstone was paid to add the Grey Otter in the game. Um, I think the Grey Otter and the Sand Snake were paid to be added into the game. Um, I actually kind of like the Sand Snake one. I just think it's like, I just think it's kind of creepy. But the Grey Otter is definitely paid to be added. Someone on Patreon paid Dragonstone to add the Grey Otter. Uh, the Snake, I think, is the same situation. Except I actually kind of think that one is passable. I don't think that one's really suggestive. Um, and the Behemoth one. That one's the least, like... The Behemoth one, it just, like... It just, like, it bites you and then spits you out. It's not really... Calling that Vor is p pathetic, honestly. It bites you and spits you out. That's that's pathetic to call that Vor. It's, it's pathetic. Um, Quote-unquote inflation. That's also probably a Patreon-paid one, if I'm being honest. Someone probably paid Dragon Snow to add it. If not, it's... I don't know. It's... <laughs> they can be creative i don't know but um, i think that it was paid by someone to add i think dragon snow paid i think someone paid dragon snow to add it and the skunk one is also a patreon one someone paid dragon snow to add it i think um do people really play change for the riveting riveting gameplay yes people do i found myself getting downright frustrated at certain parts doing blah 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 the game is difficult the game is described as dragon snow as being highly difficult so if it's too difficult for you that's the point the game is literally described as being high difficulty. So if you can't beat it, that's your own fault. And then this person's like, 100%, every time people are straight up willing to die on a hill saying it's not a fetch game, balls my mind. Even the original version, you cannot tell me that gooey latex creature is in. Oh, okay. Let me, uh, so I debunked this. Like, yeah. They said the only reason it exists is because he has a transfer fetish. Well, again, if changed was to appeal that, then it probably would have genitalia and stuff, and it doesn't changed actually has like story and shit it isn't just straight up gooning fest it has story it has it has like gameplay it does have legitimate values for like a, a game if, if it was really made to appeal just a transfer fetish it would have genitalia and it would not have as much of like a thought out story or gameplay and then most of these quote-unquote proof were paid to be added like someone paid dragon snow to add those and the one where it wasn't paid, which is the behemoth one, it's pretty fucking tame. Um, you can't call that war, it's just really tame. And then the riveting gameplay, yeah, it, it's... If you found it hard, that's because it is. It's intentionally difficult. Okay, anyways. Now we're gonna read this. 
Yeah, 100%. Every time people are straight up willing to die on the hill by saying Shiny's not a fetish game, bogs my freaking mind. Even in the original version, you cannot tell me that gooey latex creature intimately using its liquefied body and blank blanketing the flesh of a half-naked protagonist who's also drawn as a desperate person while being thoroughly consumed by it is not fetish material at all. Also, have they read how to script the transfer processes? Like, describing the protagonist's hands at turning into paws and calling them fingertips grow out of meatballs and becoming animal meat mats. Like, come on, man. It's a very descriptive and suggestive way. I don't think I don't think change should have been this mainstream to the point where it would reach outside of this community. Sure, kids playing Roblox, they may not know the context behind the avatars and all, but the information is easily accessible, as easy as hell to access in the moment. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, first, first off, um, I can't really comment on, yeah, 100%. They just agree with this person because they're stupid. Uh, secondly, every time people are straight up to willing to die on this hill, change is not a fetish game, boggles my mind. Let me flip that around. To me, when someone is willing to die on the hill saying it is a fetish game, that boggles my mind. I can say the same thing in reverse, okay? I can say the same thing every single time someone is willing to die on the hill that it is not that it is a fetish game. That boggles my mind, okay? Um, and latex is a fucking translation error. Can people get over that? Can people get over that? Latex is a translation error. So the fact people use that as evidence. Latex is a translation error. So, and even if it wasn't a translation error, it's a, it's just a material. It, but it is, in change, it is a translation error. Latex is a translation error. Um, and you're calling the protagonist half-naked, which is kind of weird. Um, a lot of the time, I mean, I don't know if this is a good comparison, but some people just walk around in pants, and that's it. Like, especially with men, not all men wear shirts around their house. They just wear pants and walk around, and it's like, I don't know why you're like, oh, they're, he's half naked, but it's, he's wearing pants. Yeah, he doesn't have a shirt, but men don't always have to wear shirts. They can just walk around with no shirt, and if they're, like, in their house or whatever, but he's also the only human in the building, so it doesn't really matter for him. Uh, animals aren't really gonna care about that. And, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and shorts are pants. The shorts aren't even that short. Like, my, I have shorts, which are actually pretty short as well. Not because it's suggestive, but because, you know, you don't want to overheat. And he's running a lot in the game. You don't want to overheat if you're, like, running so much. So, <laughs> People are like, just like, oh, because he's wearing short shorts and nothing else, it's suggestive. No, if you're a man, you don't have to wear a shirt all the time, and he's a man, and if and shorts are just naturally short. That's the point of them. <laughs> um, so the half-naked thing is stupid, uh, and intimately, and suggestive position, whatever. The game is suggestive, okay, but that does not happen most of the time. Most of the time, it's not even suggestive at all. The few times where it is suggestive, it's mild. Like, the only times it's suggestive, it's pretty mild. And most times, it's not even suggestive. If it was meant to be a fetish game, every single one would be suggestive. But no, only a handful are. Um, thoroughly consumed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because because human is their food source. Of course, they're going to consume him because they're the, he's the food source. Um, I don't even think the ones where he gets consumed are suggestive at all, except for that otter one, which was paid to be added. The only one where he is consumed that is suggestive is the otter one, and anything else, in my opinion, isn't. So the snow leopard, the snow leopard one where he's consumed is not suggestive. How descriptive they are. Fingertips grow out of meatballs and become animal meat mats. That just sounds like weird translation, in my opinion. Sure, the game says that, but that doesn't even sound suggestive. It just sounds weird. It's, uh, fingertips grow out of meatballs and become animal meat mats. It doesn't even sound suggestive. It's just, like, a weird way of describing the shape of an animal hand, I guess. It's not, I don't know how the fuck you can call that suggestive. It's just, like, how the fuck are you gonna call meatballs and meat mats suggestive? It's just, it's, he's, it's a weird translation way of describing an animal hand. It's, that's not even suggestive at all. Um, it's, <laughs> and I don't think change should have been this mainstream at the point where to reach outside of his community, blah, blah, blah. I think it's good it became mainstream because it's a great game, okay? So now I've debunked these idiots. Yeah, just, I just want to make a video about that. Blah, blah, blah.